2020 has been a very challenging year. The COVID-19 global pandemic has impacted us all in various ways. First of all, I hope you and your families and your colleagues are all safe. We of course had to cancel the IEDR general session, which was to be held in March of this year in Washington, DC. That was also going to be our IEDR centennial celebration. So it was going to be a very special meeting. But the boards of directors had no choice given the pandemic. It was the right call to cancel the meeting just 10 days prior to the start of the meeting. So what have we done since then? Well, first of all, I wanna thank all of our 2020 members that have stuck with us in this very challenging year. We would not be able to accomplish anything without your continued membership and your continued support. So immediately after the cancellation, we contacted the Centennial Plenary Speakers, the Distinguished Lecture Series Speakers, many of the Symposia Speakers, and we were able to record that content after the fact, and that's now up online on the IDR CE On Demand Library. We also contacted the individual oral and poster presenters, and some of those individuals have uploaded their presentations. That's available on the IADR Abstract Archive. The award competitions that would have taken place in Washington, D.C., we recorded those later, held those competitions virtually. And then we put together a special video, and we presented the awardees of the various competitions, as well as the Distinguished Scientist awardees, and many other individuals who would have been recognized at the Washington, D.C. opening ceremony are now in this special video, which was distributed to uh, all of our members. So once we got past the cancellation of the IDR general session, we then turned our attention to, well, what can we do as an association to address the global pandemic in front of us? Well, our largest division of IDR, the American Association for Dental Research, quickly pulled together a research agenda as it relates to dental, oral, and craniofacial sciences and COVID-19. That research agenda was then shared with the National Institutes of Dental and Craniofacial Research and uh, together with other input, as well as their own internal scientists, NIDCR launched a series of, uh, of initiatives and they're now actively funding in this area of COVID-19 and dental oral and craniofacial sciences. And that uh, research agenda, by the way, is now published in the JDR Clinical and Translational Research. IADR and ADR also pulled together a COVID-19 resource page that's on our website and that contains things like a COVID-19 webinar series. It includes uh, publications as it relates to dental, oral, and craniofacial sciences, either in our own publications, the Journal of Dental Research, or the JDR Clinical and Translational Research, or links to other publications as well. Again, all research relevant to COVID-19 and dental, oral, and craniofacial sciences. So once we got that uh, up and running, that's ongoing support that is continuing. You can uh, check that uh, today, if you will. Um, we then turned our attention to, well, how do we help our members stay connected in this virtual Zoom environment? Uh, we launched the IEDR community over the summer, and this is a platform that allows our members to engage and network throughout the year. We think this is going to be a terrific membership benefit, even once we get past the global pandemic, of a way that our members can remain engaged beyond just at the meeting throughout the year. This was initially launched as a community of all of our members, and now we have some sub-communities based on our scientific groups and networks or various um, divisions and sections. So that's rolling out slowly, and we think that's gonna be another terrific membership benefit. We also launched the IADR Webinar Connect platform. Here, members are able to join webinars live, or you can view past webinars in a on-demand feature. So that brings me to the 2021 general session. Much of the planning for the 2021 meeting is of course happening in 2020. This will be July 21st through 24th in Boston, Massachusetts. The meeting importantly will be hybrid, meaning if you can get to Boston in July, you can attend in person just like any other past IDR general session. However, if you're unable to get to Boston, either due to continued travel restrictions related to COVID-19, financial reasons, time zone reasons, visa reasons, any reason that you can't get to Boston, you'll be able to attend the meeting virtually. We think this is gonna be a fantastic membership benefit going forward and allows the reach of our general session to really extend beyond those that are able to attend in person. Again, I wanna thank our current members that have stuck with us in this challenging year and have allowed us to deliver these new membership benefits. And to those of you who had to drop your membership in 2020 due to the obvious, very challenging situation that we're in right now, uh, we understand and we welcome you back with open arms. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with these new membership benefits that are gonna allow you to network and engage throughout the year beyond just the general session. So please renew your IDR membership today. 
And I hope to see many of you at the IEDR General Session in 2021, either in person in Boston or virtually online. Thank you.